Hi ladies and gentlemen, uh, in this video we are going to see the product and market selection. So various strategy we are going to discuss as uh, this website is completely free. So you don't need to pay anyone anything. So you can just go through a step by step process, understand each and everything and see what strategy works for you. So let's get started. Uh, this website you can enter it by commerce.gov.in. Uh, this website is Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Uh, Department of Commerce. So this is under it, and uh, you can see uh, all the ministers here. Piyush Goyal ji, PM uh, here, and all of the other data and various things. Okay. So the what matters here? Uh, obviously, you can enter the, both the data. Uh, either you by clicking here, or we'll use trade statistics on the menu bar. So once you click on trade statistics, you will reach the section called import export uh, export import data bank annual and export import data bank monthly. So there are two databases which you can really analyze through and uh, this gives you a uh, latest figures, okay. So let's go with annual because monthly what happens here is there is a current, right? So you never know uh, which month is really going to work for you, which industry and all of it because as of now we are just doing the product uh, based analytics, okay. So we'll go on annual basis, we'll just open up a new tab. So this is the tab once you click here, you need to click OK and then you are on the new tab. So here you can see there is a section to the left is uh, exports, to the right it's import. So uh, when we are doing this, what you can easily do here is one, you can go with commodity wise. You can see this as the name itself, commodity wise, chapter wise all commodity, commodity wise all country, commodity x country wise. Com Country wise, country wise, all uh, all commodities, then region, then region, all countries. It's all the same combinations. What you see to the left and as well as the right. But here you get the import data, and here you want, uh, get the export data. So before you use this website, you need to uh, know that what hat you are wearing. So are you going to act as an exporter or an importer? So like, okay, what are the products coming in? Do I check on exports? No, you have to check that in imports because these are imports. So you are getting it to Indian market. So there are products that we are sending from Indian market to abroad, then that is something we call it as export. So what you can do here is uh, you can click as uh, commodity wise. So commodity wise, you can see, um, you can select the dates here. If you can see here, it's April to October 23, 24. So it's not a complete year. So we go by April to March. So that's a whole year. So that is something which you can look into. Okay. So we'll take uh, 22, 23 or else we'll keep the same, doesn't matter. All commodities, uh, you can go until eight digits, okay, because we are on Indian database. So we can go till eight digits, HSN code, top, uh, do you want top 100 or do you want to war? all? So normally at the moment, I, I act as a uh, pressure. So I don't know anything about uh, like one of you guys who are watching this video. So I don't have any experience. I don't know what products are being exported. Why do I select top 10 hundred? Let me select all. Let me see how the volumes are going. So USD is a bit confusing. Again, I have to into it 83 rupees and all of it. So instead of that, I'll keep it in Indian rupees itself. So then we'll submit. Okay. So these are, if you can see here, these are 1234, 1234. So it's eight digit HSN code. So which is the Indian set of HS codes what we follow through. So you can go by volumetric, you can go by uh, what do you call HSN code, all of it. So what I can see is, uh, I'll go back, I'll just select eight digits as usual. And what I do is sorting is by HSN code, it goes by number by number, or else what I can say is as current year. Okay, so I'll go and hit submit. Yeah, the things is loaded. The highest product which is being exported this current year, can you see the number that is petroleum, diesel fuel all of it, diamonds then next and so on, all fuel, gasoline, smartphones. This is the export data guys, guys okay, so you understand this, the fifth product is smartphones, why? You know the reason there are a lot of companies are putting up their plants in India and then we are moving up, okay. Other, um, this should be medicine. Others, others normally there are a lot of products that you don't describe it as if it's not listed in HSN code that falls into uh, others. So that is, again you can check through. 
then you have basmati rice uh, india is exporting basmati rice you can see this uh, there are a few gaps here there is no data that is coming in uh, sometimes happens but yeah uh, i request the government authorities to take care of it obviously because there should be important data so look at this uh, the people who don't have the product yet so you can see this okay do you want to play with volume so volume means competition volume means uh, margin less if everyone is fat, uh, fighting the battle here rice paraboid okay that's one of the most uh, product that we as indians export but see there is what margins you can get out of it yeah the volume is here i, I completely agree to it but can we make margins here what is the niche margin what is the margin that i can export and earn do i get payments so these are something which you need to calculate though how do you get to know only then when once you start talking to the client so basically so then again uh, you can see t-shirts soft cotton these are all drugs medicines vacuum gas oil the volumes what you can see the bigger volumes this current year is all like keep on searching for it whatever flashes to your eyes just see that so normally uh, what i can say is uh, either go by this way go keep searching because guys i don't say that okay it's a cake walk it's going to take time for you so obviously you go one by one understand each and everything okay what is the volume here okay the volumes are pretty good but end of the day what matters it's like is there a good margin but those how do you uh, do anyone disclose margins no normally that is something uh, sometimes we make less margin sometimes we make more margin that is not nowhere we disclose it but what we can tell is this is all like the cif values what we have been exported so that is pretty good enough so look at this uh, part of transformers but not the movie one huh? that's electricity one so other uh, waste oil activated carbon in what form that is again you have to go deep that is something i'll let you uh, you to understand that so look at this banana fresh this is a fresh banana what is from kerala and west bengal and all of it so that is something which you can see look at the volume here this is the share and this is the current share so there is a dip so many times the shares growth will be good sometimes it drops so, so people can say like okay uh, sir what products to export there are a number of products guys it completely depends on your understanding your psychology your pocket friendliness and uh, the, your payment terms because on payment terms some products are not very much suitable for you because only the reason here is i can't really work with that product because there is no advance payments coming in so that's a difficult job so look at this there are leather boots industrial diamonds so there is a category what you use for jewelry and industries natural honey lot of uh, restrictions regulations are there if you able to manage it then you have a good export for products of here um if you know all again government fish frozen this is something which is something which you can look into really pretty good product very good margins also because we are already working on it handbags of leathers for ladies look at this onion dried see there are very uh, what do you call the products which has gone dip because see look at this volume and look at this volume is just because what i can say is this is just not a complete year this is still just october so you have december jan feb and march so the volume may go up so that's what i want to communicate so don't go wrong with saying that okay the volume sale so maybe uh, the orders are lost it's not so but you can really look into it see what see numbers are in front of you you can say okay what the, what does that really matters to me is it the number or is it the share or is it the growth or just i can work with the name of the product is that something which you want to look into so we are going to upload a lot many new videos respected to product selection and market selection but understand this these data are pretty much free there is nothing uh, that i or you have to pay anyone here this is complete free data so this website i use only to understand okay if i want i have a minimum budget i don't have any product uh, 
in mind so then in that case i can check here so what you can do is if you don't want to scroll it control uh, control f and then write uh, fish if you want to deal in fish okay uh, Powder fish, satellite fish frozen, ribbon fish, other preserved or preserved, uh, other prepared or preserved uh, fish, fish body oil, uh, make up fishing. Okay, that's not something. Uh, it's different. Other frozen frozen fish. Okay, this is again different. Okay, let me see this. I don't know about this, but we can see through. Yeah, I think this is interesting. Salted or dried or smoked in the brick fish, heads, tails, and okay. So what I can uh, really tell you is, uh, you can look into whatever the products that you have in mind. So you can say, okay, wood. So let me deal in wood products. Okay, so we have around one thirty-five results, but yeah, you can just search for it. So what kind of a woods are there? What kind of a wood products you can say like? Look at that. Sandalwood chips and dust, bamboos, agar wood. Chemical wood and chips. So whatever you want to select on, there is no limitation saying that okay, this is the this is the product that you can look into. If you don't want to scroll, you can avoid scrolling and you can just enjoy uh, what the product that you are looking for, so that you get every volume up right here. Uh, many people want oil, so let's see oil also. Oil. There are hundreds different types of oil, guys. So oil and gas okay foil also comes in oil okay the spelling due to just the spelling thing it's picking up oil cake and oil uh, cake meal of shell okay dehydrated so it's like that is okay sesame seeds oil extracted You do oil, uh, just the just look into the spellings and all of that. So that should be fine. So morning, I I was having a call with someone, and uh, the discussion was on castor oil. Look at this. India is exporting this volume of uh, product, which is forty sixth ranked product. So out of all the products, 46th ranked is highest exported product is the cash oil. So now you need to understand where the products are moving, uh, what are the benefits and all of it. Just copy this HSN code. We'll, we'll use it for next analytics. But this is something which you can really look into. Look at this. Guys, many people are not uh, focusing on automobile industry. There is a huge exports happening on automobile department, uh, automobile industry. So check on that. Baby garments, how many people have are not focusing on this? Look at this, the volumes are pretty good. Gearbox of your automobiles. It could be for anything, not only automobiles, gear shifts. Bed sheets. Then you have uh, antibiotics if you have into medical, uh, if you have a uh, checks with the medical, uh, what do you call it, pharmaceutical companies, then yeah, you can really work on these products too. Aluminium wire. There are some products which you need to have some bit of understandings and all of it. If not, then you need to look into. Okay, I, I don't know what tankers are this. So what you have to do is instead of using uh, eight digit edges code, what you can do is if you want to understand the parent company. So what I'll do is. Uh, Instead of using eight digit HS codes, I'll go back 
I'll use only two digit or four digit or six digit. Okay, I'll just use four digit. I'll skip it all and then sort it by current year. Submit. So four digit, you have a better description saying that okay because it it represents the industry. So if I had to go back and if I can reduce it to two digit and then we can do the same exercise. And now you have a pretty much industrial exposure. Saying that okay, what is the cotton exported? What are the top exported is fuel, obviously petroleum, gas, and all of this. Uh, that's one. Second is the natural gas, and third pharmaceutical. Fifth is the pharmaceutical product, nuclear reactors. These are all government traded guys because the first uh, few uh, products are government related. You can't really get into it, and if you want to get in, then it's a different ballgame. Okay, now what I can do here is. Uh, I can say cereals. This is a pretty good product. So what I'll do is I'll just click on four in front of it. If you can see here, click on four, then you see this. Okay, there's a pretty good number: wheat, ra uh, barley, rye, oats, rice. Okay, all of them. So then see what is the volume here? Rice is the highestly exported. Then what you can do is you can click on six digit. And I can see what is that which has the highest volume here. So broken rice, then you have rice in husk, paddy, and then you have something called as uh, milled rice, which is paraboiled rice. So that is something which is highly exported. Click on eight, and then see the number. Paraboiled rice, basmati rice, uh, rice extracting. Okay, excluding. Uh, Basmati rice, non basmati rice, so that's what is there. Because the categorization is very different from various things, but you can see through this. Look at this. These are in lakh rupees, guys. So, what you can do is you see your calculator will not calculate this. So, you use the computers. So, just add a lakh to it, it will calculate it. Okay. These are all the volumes in lakh. You can't even. These numbers are so huge. So that uh, it's better. What you have to do here is go with two digit, then keep on growing to four, six, and eight. You'll get a proper understanding about what the product you are getting into. Because normally, what happens here is uh, there are 99 chapters, 98 chapters, and one chapter is others. So what I suggest to you is go with this. So it gives you a smooth, uh, smoother walk. So or else it'll be too clumsy and you get overwhelmed. Okay, we be cry, we be cry, and what do I really expect? So this is even this is also getting sold, and even that is getting sold. So what is that exactly? I want to get into the business. So that is something which you can try. Okay, uh, let us take uh, live animals. Okay, what live animals are exported? So very small number, but still we'll see live animals, uh, which is the highest volume is here. Uh, ship and goods. So let's go and see six digit. So what is that? Live goods are more more than ships. Okay, now you people, if you're confused with what is good and what is ship, go back to Google and check on it. Okay, so now this is live goods. These are the volume that is being exported. But what are the licenses? What are the certifications? What are the lab reports are required? That is also something which you need to cross check because live goods are expo uh, live goods are exported. Okay, on how do they export it? That is something you need to check. Uh, what are the certifications required? What are the rules and regulations? And what are the mainly lab testings required? Because your products, when, once you export your goods from India to abroad, and then there be there can be a hurdle when it comes to the product selection, or normally if they want let your products in the their country. So if there is no particular rule rules and regulations to uh, your product, obviously the the good product, then yeah, it can be easily exported. But if there is some issues with it, then that's going to be a problem. Uh, then you can see uh, umbrellas, um, sun umbrellas, and all of it. Let's see umbrellas market. Look at this. These are all in lakhs, okay? It's not in thousands. So what I say is 2378.42 into lakhs. So you need to multiply in lakhs so that you get the number. So the biggest volume is umbrella, okay? Umbrella. So let's see six digit. Good volume with uh, okay other umbrellas, garden and similar umbrellas. Umbrellas uh, having a telescope. So that's okay. Other umbrellas. So I am not uh, pretty good with the product understanding. So you can check whatever because see there are a lot of products guys. 
thousands of problems you don't you can't really get into a digestion of everything so whatever you uh, you understand this is a walk through if you are into that uh, photographical and cinematographic goods articles pulp support uh, projects goods specific musical instruments this is also something which we are working on so look at this musical boxes uh, musical instruments that sounds which is in process and music electrical okay so pretty less knowledge on it so silk fertilizers organic non organic all of it so look at it the highest volume so look into this minerals and chemical chemical fertilizers nitrogenous click on that click on this six digits again look to the volume urea that's one of the thing which we are exporting again special permissions government body look into it so look at this urea so everything is a cake walk for, for you guys if you use this method instead of using all hs codes you can use just two hs codes and later you go by step by step so whatever matters for you so uh, we have seen cocoa cocoa beans cocoa beans okay so look at the volumes exported chocolates and other food preservative uh, goods uh, containing cocoa so that's a finished good obviously you have huge margins but uh, if you are using cocoa butter and then cocoa beans like raw beans normally we are not exporters we are importers so if you can check the same hs code uh, 1801 so that you get it in imports also so you can check on that we are importing heavily on cocoa beans so look at this uh, once we have done with the chocolates we are exporting it look at the volume uh, what type of chocolates we are exporting others uh, not specified like what is exactly then you need to check the descriptions that is not something government gives you that obviously you need to find it uh, other way around the table so for that you need to pay you don't get it for free that is something we call it as shipping data that is something which you can get it outside over in open market you can check for it but normally it's illegal so uh get your rest okay powder containing sugar so nothing so look into that it's a pretty good product if you want to deal in so there are n number of companies in india uh monolies and various other companies are really doing pretty good uh monolies is nothing but cadbury so you can check into that those uh products guys uh those companies i know obviously if they allow you to export then nothing like it so products of animal organs i'm uh, not sure arms and ammunition a restricted product not uh, prohibited but it can work but you need to have some other license with that uh, beverages uh, when spirits and vinegars you can see on that what is what kind of a beverages are we exporting which is the highest volume so what is it okay very technical not uh, to my understanding so if you are good at it so go ahead and read it out see guys it's always good for you if you don't know about it it's better you say it now okay toys toys games sports require uh, what is it yeah, parts and accessories okay so what we can check what what are we exporting so articles of equipment gymnastics athletics and other sports including table tennis outdoor games swimming pools and padding okay so you can see specifically what products are we exporting to what range and where are we exporting that is something which you can look into it later so okay look at the volume see what i always say is yeah, apply the 80 20 rule out of your whole thing your 80% business comes from only one product one or two products mainly so then whole of other products if you see 82% is other sports equipment 20 gymnastics and articles then you have other balls i don't know mm. so go deeper if you are in that industry already you can really look into it or else you can just get a glance of it okay this is how the products are and okay these are the products are in demand so let me talk to some companies and understand what products i can get here and then i can really export it to okay there are zinc
these are the hs scores and these are the products ranking so iron and steel cereals uh, cotton coffee tea spices what we are indians are meant for so look at this uh, what is the highly exported that's all look at the number range guys you can see this we've been looted for 200 years uh, only for peppers so that's how again we are still doing better so we are doing pet, uh, pepper is something we are doing great so anyone who wants to get into there are a lot of other things here dried pressed grounded and all of it capsicum or okay. ginger saffron turmeric curcuma uh, curcuma bay leaves curry leaves other spices tea and then you have coffee here roasted caffeinated non caffeinated not roasted coffee has everything so normally what we do is we send raw coffee to italy and they process it and then they repack it and they export it to a european market so that's also something which you need to look into so what in coffee so go in six digit and then see okay what is this uh, roasted not decaffeinated roasted but it's not decaffeinated again we'll go for a digit then we see there is a big number coming here okay what is it cherry other graded then you have cherry ab if you go deeper then you understand what is exactly that is because you have uh, varieties of coffee beans so that is something which you can check and along with the specification you go deeper and see what the description is and what is that exactly the products are being exported for so now i have a rough idea saying that okay now we can get into this okay these are the products are getting exported so if those products the volumes are good then obviously that is something which you can check uh, if you are into production ships boats even there is a huge demand there india is doing very good in that look at this cruise ships and all of it Go for six digit then look into the data the highest one tankers so look into it what tankers that is and if you are into production and if you want to invest and do something you can really enter in those products cotton aluminium articles cereals iron organic chemicals so we'll see some in organic chemicals again a huge data coming in every four digit hs code you don't get every same number so it will be depends on the products categorizations in the same uh, hs code so look into this uh, which is a bigger bigger number i can see this cycle hydrocarbon cycle hydrocarbons and this is one more you need to buy just scrolling you can sh you should be able to judge okay what is a bigger number so based on that you can take a call so we'll take cycle hydrocarbon i don't know what is that okay good even these also things happens guys so don't worry about it if it happened to your product then see uh, the other websites which you can check with the same data because indian governments sometimes websites are almost broken sometimes even uh, even while recording this is my fourth attempt or third attempt uh, creating this video because normally you don't get uh, the, these websites live So this is one of the strategies what you can look into. Uh, now well, the main strategy what we normally use is commodity wise all country. So I know what commodity I have to deal in. So based on what commodity I can see is like, okay, we have selected multiple HS in codes. So we'll see what HS code we have selected here. We'll take four digits and then we'll go for search. Again, there is no other go. Again, you have to repaste it. Let's see whatever I have. Uh, t shirts, cotton, okay. Let's go sorted by current year and seven. So, we are exporting especially the t shirts uh, of cotton is to at this extent. So, look at this US is our major market. I don't know why the growth calculation is not here, but yeah, 
again you can see this there is a difference because it's not a full year data but yeah you can really compare maybe that's the reason they are not giving you the growth uh, statistics usa germany uh, uae germany uk france netherlands australia then canada so on and so forth so these are the countries who are importing t-shirts from us and you need to understand now by touch basing because if you are into a production or a trading or a merchant trader or a joint venture partner whatever you are if you are planning to get into export business and you want to work with the markets then by just doing this by getting your hs code right here you will be able to understand what are the products range that we are exporting and which are the countries i can target because if you enter here if there is a potential left you will get our uh, orders and along with that you need to bypass uh, the current suppliers and you should show your credibility only then you are going to get orders that is something which you need to look into so these are your, your target markets uh, very small volume still the volume is in lakhs this is not just a uh, uh, syria iran pakistan then you have uh, very small countries guys these are all very small bermuda you can you, you see this volume here mali libya guatemala guatemala itself is a producer but yeah they import something from us so you need to check what are they ukraine now currently uh, not sure kazakhstan congo republic very small countries guys uh, you may not even heard about these countries but you can check on this Hungary, Hungary, Guyana, Costa Rica. Pretty small countries, but works. Togo, uh, Brazil. Normally, towards closer to the U.S. market, the the Southern America, the continent, the northern part of it. So normally, those are all the producers. They are the competitors for us. So for especially for garments, you can check. Russia, look at this. These are in lakhs, guys. Whatever the volume I am showing you, these are all. Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, yeah, it's in value in lakhs. Okay, you can check in value in thousands also if you want, but it's the same thing. These are pretty good uh, searches. What you can do, you can see what are the target markets. Completely free, and uh, even I'll show you one more thing. So if you want the data uh, coming for monthly. You can use this, but I'm just using this. Uh, Country-wise, all commodity. Now, I what I can say is, okay. Now I have someone in USA, okay, as a relative. So, or I can say it as uh, we'll take uh, USA is better. Canada is gone now, so no point. So what I can say is, we'll take again two digit, uh, four digit, uh, or six digit, okay. So we'll go with all, give it in rupees, uh, sort it by current year, and submit. So current year, what are we exporting? Uh, medicines, which is pharmaceutical, difficult to enter, a huge capital. Smartphones, obviously apples. There is a huge competitors, diamonds. Then you can see all. This is one product which you always see, guys. If you are looking towards US market, prawns and fishes are something like we send a lot. So if you are interested, if you don't have some idea in it, and you can check with the uh, Marine uh, councils, they can help you with. Okay. Look at the volume. The gradually the turn uh, the transactions lower down, but you can see this. These are so many products that have been exported to just United States. Okay. Look at the volume. Overall volumes are here. Mainly the medicines what we export. Diamonds, toilet liners, kitchen liners. These are like fabrics which you use it for bed sheets and all of it. So that is something which you can check. Bed spreads, which is, which is called bed sheets, nothing but some uh, antibiotics and all this. These are all medicines, okay. So t-shirts. The volume what we have seen, uh, US was a top market for us. This is uh, US exports, uh, which is twentieth best product of India's exporting to US. So based on that ranking, you can really go into sales. 
look at this 35th product baby garments so baby garments uh, which they use in us are being manufactured in india look at the volumes lakh rupees right dress cottons seeds natural honey is being exported to india usa many people say that so can we export yeah we can export but these are all major bigger players you have you need to have huge licenses and all of it you need to take care of them look at this iron and steel automobiles parts of turbo jets if you have those kind of a bandwidth yeah why not but normally the people i can i can understand my audience so based on that i don't see the big things happening up uh, like a turbo jets and plane spares and all of that but yeah looking towards that shrimps prawns so each and every products what you can look into here is are very specific uh, to the turnovers to especially to us and see these are like the strategies what we apply is like okay either i have commodity i need to understand the market or else i can say okay now my market is fixed because i have someone there uh, i don't need to uh, bet anything really i need to uh, don't worry about okay the payments and all because it's my own brother who is sitting in us i'll get the payments uh, even later also in those cases country wise commodity or uh, commodity wise countries these are the two strategies what you can really apply and work around it so these are the two things and when it comes to import is the same procedures what are you uh, want to import and where you want to import it from so, uh, commodity wise all country so again we'll pick uh, 08 as a chess code current year and then search okay we'll do one thing because we do less imports we are not aware of it let's give me a minute okay commodity wise okay country wise all commodity so what are we importing from uh united states six digits all this is fine let's just go current year again petroleum coal other aluminium waste and scrap that is even that is being imported at this scale yeah, how profitable it is again it's a manufacturing companies yeah fine but if it's anyone else then look into it almond fresh and dried shells so almonds are highly imported so normally you get it as american almonds and all of it california almonds something like that you can see it on um, uh, what you call big baskets and all of it you you get to see those products so these are all imported products um take a look at each and every article if it matters to you and if you want to grow as a importer so there is a different market for you guys so you can check on that too okay that's fine what i want to show you is uh, let's see uganda what are we importing from there coffee cocoa beans as i said we are getting it from ghana ivory coast uganda and all of it this is the volume of cocoa beans what we import gums wood parts of machines i don't know what uh, what machine of that you need to check other cotton waste so normally what we import is the scrap and all of it so unrooted cutting uh, cutting and splits of live plants so what are the plants that we are importing look at the volume guys too low too low we are not highly importing anything big from uganda apart from this few products here rest is all like yeah we import just for a lakh to 12 lakh rupees material maximum now this is only 66000 so that is something which you can see then we'll see what uh, we are importing from china we'll go mad with the data but obviously we have uh, let me show you that too
We just don't write China, there's a problem with them. So, yeah. China People Republic, so it's pretty bad. Okay, so let's go with the data. Okay, what is the first product that we are importing? Digital automatic data processing, washing, what is this? Machines, uh, okay, portable it is a digital products, then others, then batteries. We are importing heavily memories. I don't know what is, is it a memory card or what. So look look at each and every product uh, category, and you can understand what are we the volumes that we are importing it from uh, China, and there are a huge number. So what we can reduce is like four digits, and see again. Antibiotics we are importing from there. Agrocycle components with nitrogen, automatic data processing machines and units, electrical apparels, maybe that's something the category what we are looking to. Air uh, vacuum pumps, other gas compressors and fans. So these are products that we are importing. So balls and rolling bear, roll bearing, uh, roller bearings, there is something like huge volume we import. The only thing here is, uh, for what purpose are you using these kind of uh, roll bearings? That is something which you have to look into. Um, safety glasses, articles of aluminium, weaving machines, looms. Uh, normally, what I say, Juki is one of the bigger brand what we import in India. Project goods, I am not specific. Other engines and motors. Zero allies. Copper wire. So you can keep on going and you can, you'll be able to understand, okay, what are the products that we are importing from there and which are the companies. Maybe these are orders that it's been imported from China, but it's not directly uh, order is placed to China. It could be placed anywhere else, but they have the production unit in China. So that we are getting the products from there. That's also possibilities are high. So we are importing uh, electrical gadgets and all of it, but maybe it's not a Chinese company. It's a, a German company, but the production is in China. So that's how it is. So if you want to play with iPhones and all, especially uh, on iPhone uh, 15 Pro and all, it's very much uh, written says as okay, it's been designed in uh, US and then it's been manufactured in China. So that's how it works. Grapes, fresh or dried, look at this, even that has been imported from China. So basically from agro products to various other industries, almost look at this guys, you have every HS code, every chapter, is here so I'll make it a two and then you'll get to know about it so normally uh, your HSN codes is always like two four six eight okay ten twelve so look at this every HS code you can see here major if it's not an Indian producer where we hardly import anything so live animals also something we are importing so that is also something which you can check okay, what are the live animals we import because normally it will be fish uh, which is a breed what we call as a, generally we call it as goldfish or something like that and we say it as uh, turtles so those are something a bit of pieces that uh, decorative and pet keeping is something a big business so that is something we import uh, then you have cocoa cocoa prayer preparations uh, coke beverages spirits vinegar tin zinc sugar very low volume but still there is a huge volume here right cereals is not something China is good for, so agro products is not good at uh, China, so normally we don't import uh, edible products uh, from China, edible vegetables and cereals, roots and cubes, so look at this, it's 7,505 uh, uh, lakh dollar, uh, lakh rupees, so that's something which you can see, so it's in rupees lakh, okay, okay, uh, so let's go back, so this is how you normally uh, check what is being imported, what is the market for us, uh, what is it importing, like what are the products that we are importing from other country and uh, what are the bases. So these are something like if you are not only wearing one single hat saying that okay I will be an exporter. 
be an importer and exporter you can see if the products are not uh, produced in indian market obviously if anyone needs it that you can really get those products to indian market and earn money and when the products are very much produced in indian market and there has a global demand you can export that and uh, make margin so end of the day it's like win win situation from both and uh, make money from both ends and this is one of the most pretty good tool free of cost no need to worry on the uh, check on data is very much uh, accurate maybe bit data is here and there but still fine so pretty good but the only thing here is the website should work when we want it so that's something uh dgci people has to take care of it but yeah monthly data it's all the same guys so commodity wise all country click on it uh, which month are you looking for so it's september then your commodity then you want to sort it by current country name or cumulative volume monthly value go for it and see edible fruits and nuts field which are the top countries we are exporting usa uae usa saudi arabia iran but again just go on volumes uh, maybe margins are not maybe no good maybe not but there are few products which we can really work in through so that's something which you can check so this is all what i wanted to share uh, in this video guys i hope uh, this was this has been a long video but this should be good for you to understand and uh, work around it because the strategy here is one pick the product and select the market or select the market and pick the product so anything is fine so this is how you have to work around uh, the import export business uh, these are data are pretty good with indian data uh, then obviously you need to check once you start working on the ground you get to know okay the framework here is okay i pick this product or that product based on that get the hs code search it here get the number if that numbers attracts you then work around with it okay this is all what i wanted to share in this video uh, the the whatsapp community joining link will be in the description go and check join a community and uh, in the future forward we'll be connecting a lot of uh, webinars paid and free which you can easily enroll for it okay till then take care bye bye see you